Okay. You know. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Here we go. The one thing I mentioned before a couple times is that sex sells, right? And a lot of people, they just think they're going to take pictures of hot models. And, uh, you know, there's a few photography channels. There's a couple of few photography channels and that don't know anything about photography. And uh, they go out taking pictures of chicks. That's well and fine. I got a call from my buddy today up in New York. And I made a video like that. All the money that you think is in photography, there is no money in taking pictures of hot chicks. None. Number one, they never have any money. Number two, everybody wants to do that. Three, everybody that is doing that is giving their work away for free. Number four, the market is saturated with that crap. Saturated! There's no money in it. None! Now, if you have photography as a hobby, you're advanced amateur, uh, advanced enthusiast, fine. There is no money in that kind of crap photography. It, it, it's beautiful to look at. It's what it's. It's crap. There's no money in it. You, I'm gonna get a camera. I'm gonna get some skills. I'm gonna take pictures of hot chicks all day long. Yeah. Anyway, so my buddy called me to reiterate the point that I've made to you before. Uh, he has a contact that has a contact, and uh, anyway, it's uh, I think it's a cancer specialist doctor, and what they need is comparative images for like uh, mole growth and uh, the spread of cancer. You need to white balance those images to check for coloration change, obviously. Something changes color, that's indicative of cancer, but also the spread, you know, number of moles and freckles and whatnot, so... <clears throat> The money, I can't give you an exact number because I don't want to give the details away. But the patients pay the photographer in cash. The money is enormous. It's really simple. Someone takes off their shirt, like, oh my god, that's sexy. No, yeah. I'm sure it's a lot of old men, you know, their hairy backs and eh. <laughs> you take a picture with a ring light and a macro lens. Or actually, I would use like a 60. I'm going to take a back shot, be 60 millimeter. But I don't want to get into the details of that. Anyway, you're talking about macro lighting, um, low distortion lenses, uh, white balance to check for the lucrative, really, really lucrative money. There is a lot of really lucrative money in photography. I know where some of those places are. I have contacts with those places. There is nothing more fun than doing product photography, sitting in your underwear, watching whatever the hell it is you watch on TV. You're watching the TV out of one eyeball and doing product photography out of the other. Drop them all in Lightroom, apply all for white balance, crop, clean up a little bit, you know, catalog pictures. Um, All the stuff that you think is just boring and unglamorous, I mean, that is where the money is in photography. But maybe, maybe, just maybe, you would want to be, you know what a starving artist is? Like, imagine someone, like, making a living off of poetry, right? I don't know which makes less money and would be more painful, to, like, try to make a living off of poetry or to try to make a living in the fashion photography business. Now... There's an awesome dude that's a supermodel photographer that I talked to. Yeah, he's making a lot of money. A lot. But the people that are actually making money, taking pictures of hot chicks, or... And he's actually told me a million times, which I already knew this, basically, is that you have to be in New York or, uh, New York or Paris, or possibly London, to even think of making in that business, and then even the market is saturated and tight. But uh, he has a name. But all these people that think they're going to, you know, they're going to become model photographers or fashion photographers, you know, you should follow your dreams. But, I mean, if you're a masochist, that's exactly what you should do. The money in photography is not in the BS that these stupid photography channels are, you know, hey, go stand over there, Linda. Yeah, pose like that, baby. You know, and somebody hires somebody off of Models Mayhem, or, uh, you know, it's like, hey, I paid for this person to come in. I've done a video. I was like, where, the, where the hell is the money in that? You have all this gear that costs money, the gas to get there, 
to uh, the location that you scouted out and you paid for the model, where the hell's the money? You're the one that's out money. You know, that hot chick that's chewing gum and like, you know, looking at her split, split ends on her hair, she doesn't have any money. You know, she's just there as a pretty face. There's no money in that damn photography. There isn't any. People love to see that stuff. People love to do that sort of stuff. I understand that. There's no money in that kind of photography. You ever heard of the path of least resistance? It's like, well, I could do something boring and not so much fun, but it makes a lot of money, you know? It's like, I'm doing what I love, but I'm flat broke doing it, and I'm not making any money. You know, you make your own choices in life. Why is it that I'm the only photography channel that's talking about this crap? My buddy called me today, and he, I told him, I said, you know, I'm going to make a video about this, even though I made a video about it before, because you bring up a really important point. All these people taking pictures of chicks, it's like, look, yeah. It's like, yeah, if I buy that camera, I'm going to be taking pictures of hot people, too. Yeah. You might be, but you're not going to make any money doing it. I'm not saying that there isn't money out there to be had, but there really isn't. There's 10 million pretty faces, and the market is saturated with pictures. Of, you know, there's nobody buying that crap. Unless it's the client themselves, and people like that, they don't have money. They expect you to do that for free. Oh, it's a privilege to take pictures of me. You need to pay me. People are paying these gorgeous people. Uh, persons to take pictures of them it's like well how the hell are you gonna make money doing that oh I know how you do it you pay that model you take pictures of them and you make a video of you taking pictures of them and that impresses other people who donate money to you thinking that you know if they do that then they're gonna be taking pictures of hot people there's where the money is oh I forgot so point being said thanks to my friend calling me today from New York yeah, taking pictures of cancer growth on people's backs so the doctor could use it as a cross comparator. You know, he sends you to an ex photographer uh, who has certain equipment that the doctor is able to zoom in on and cross compare, you know. I used to work in the nursing department, University of Kentucky, and they had a photography lab. It was a really good paying job. It was kind of boring. I mean, it was in the dark room all day long. Taking pictures of nasty medical crap. Photography is not... A, photography includes glamour, but photography is not glamorous. It's real estate, um, business executives, product... Why the hell do you think I got the GFX? Product photography. Corporate, commercial, product photography. That's where the money's at. There's no money taking pictures of hot people. Because everybody's doing it for free. And then they're giving it away. It's like, oh my god, my picture was published. How much money did you make with that picture? Well, I worked so hard at it, but you know, I'm just happy to see my name in the magazine. So you didn't make any money. No, no, no. I actually had to pay to pay for the model. And I was like, oh my god. Why don't you see if that pays the electrical bill at the end of the month? That's not where the money in photography is. If you like doing it as a hobby, that's fine. I mean, you don't give a damn about the money. You're doing it as a side business. If you're trying to make money at it, stop, stop trying to just be someone that takes pictures of hot people. That's just such BS. It's just such BS. There's a lot of money in photography that is untapped. And the reason it's untapped is because there's 10,000 stupid assholes out there that want to do fashion, portrait, and like model photography. There's no money in that crap. Though there is for like, you know, a handful, a very small handful of people. No. Get real. Pull your head out of your ass, why don't you? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>